Spencer is here for the APC United Late Model Series post race of Flamborough round number four of the Canada Day 100 with old school Dan McCaddy. Dan, I've, I've no idea where you ended up in the final rundown. Uh, what I really want to talk to you about is, is your second place run. You, you had that car up inside the top three for the better part of this event. You led a ton of laps. Uh, it sort of came to an unceremonious end with less than 20 laps to go. What, what exactly happened uh, in, in turns one and two? Um, one or two, I spun it out myself because uh, we had a flat tire. Uh, we were lapping some real heavy traffic there. Uh, you know, late in the race, it is what it is. I know a lot of the guys are trying to stay in the lucky dog position or fight for a position where they were. In the grand scheme of things, it's between 22nd and 23rd. But they're racing hard, and uh, we got up in there. And I think Stoddy maybe blew a tire when he got up into me. But whatever the case, uh, he just got up into me and uh, cut our tire down. And as we went down into one and two and, and looped it around, uh, and I felt it going down down the front street. It's our only option. The worst thing about it was we came in here to change the tire, but we wore a shock eye on driving it on the asphalt. So it's just what it is. It was a good run. I enjoyed it. I gotta say, like for my first or second time coming to Flamborough, I kind of like the place. <laughs> I'm a, kind of a big track kind of guy. Back guys, big track, but uh, you know, I had a lot of fun here and. Uh, behind Chenoweth. I would have ran behind him all day. Uh, I, you know, when we got in the later stages of the run there, uh, I noticed that when he couldn't, wasn't able to square the corner off, he was a little tight through the corner, so all of a sudden we were right there looking at him. He was having a tough time through traffic, and I was trying to, uh, I was trying just to be there in case something happened to him. I could take advantage of it, get the easy spot, but I was trying not to give him too much grief either because, hey, I know what it's like to be a leader and trying to get through live traffic as well. So uh, after the top five at Delaware, attracted I don't know if many people had you on their on their depth chart but it was just your second visit there I mean you were coming off a top five finish in the, in, in previous appearances but to top five at Delaware and then you run second before some some fluky craziness happens late in the going I mean you have to be really really happy with where this program is, is sitting now uh, halfway through this APC series season yeah, definitely um, we're, we're running well we've been running well the whole the whole year uh, we just had a lot of bad luck and, and you know what not necessarily someone else's doing, some of it's my own doing, and get herself into some bad positions, but having a lot of fun. This is really the first time I've really toured around Ontario and got to run against the best of Ontario at their tracks. Um, so it's been tough sled, but we've enjoyed it, and i got to really say, like, a, you know, the, the tour that Luke's put on, the staff that do it, or operate it, you know, like, I greatly appreciate what they're doing because, you know, without this tour, really late model racing is kind of dead in Ontario. And to get 39 cars at Delaware on Friday night, we had a great turnout for a Wednesday night here. Uh, you know, I just really appreciate all the supporters of the tour and all the supporters of the local tracks here too. The next event, we get to go to a place that you have uh, quite quite the affinity for. You, you know your, your way around Peterborough Speedway. We get to go there on, uh, on July 18th. Is the strategy for this event going to be any different than some of those uh, pro late model races of the classic that you've won in years past? Uh, I don't think so. I always approach the Autumn Colors Classic as a 50 lap race. If you're leading at lap 50, you start getting a caution one lap at a time there. And when you revert back a lap, as long as you're leading, you're always the leader kind of thing. So it's a race to get to lap 50. It's a tough, probably one of the toughest tracks for passing in Ontario now. I thought maybe this one would be, but no, I like this one. Um, Peter Rose tough on the outside, so I think that it's going to see some rough racing there. That's kind of my second home track. Uh, we spent a lot of years at Kawartha, but prior to Kawartha, we ran, you know, almost 10 years at Peterborough. I have three track, track championships there as well, too. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. But don't get me wrong, home tracks doesn't mean anything right now. Everybody's fast everywhere. So saying it's your home track and you have a better shot, I don't think it matters at all. Thank the uh, thank all the people that, that get you here, the guys that, that put in the long hours to keep this car running. Just just show some love to the to the folks that make this happen. Yeah, definitely, and appreciate that. Uh, you know, the sponsors really help out: JJ Stewart, Chrysler, uh, Douglas Automotive, Napa Saudi Auto Supply, Barry McClendon, Barry McClendon Masonry. Um, a lot of great sponsors. Uh, Zbart, you know, Glass Zbart Jim and Borg, uh, and, as well as my mom and dad. You know, obviously spent a ton of hours. My wife, I, uh, my kids, let me spend all my time on the race car. Uh, Colin, of course, uh, Kevin Caldwell, uh, Graham Anis has been helping me out a fair bit. And, uh, and he had to work today. And you know, I made him work. <laughs> we, got him off on, we got him off on Friday night, but he had to work today. Uh, and you know what, Kimball came up and gave me a hand today too, which was uh, a good boost for me too. It's good, nice having someone who's actually a race car driver helping you out as well too. You guys have different perspectives. So. 
Dan, I know it wasn't the, the, the result that you were looking for, but it was certainly the performance you were looking for. Congratulations on, uh, on the statement that you made tonight, and, uh, and we'll see you on July 18th at Peterborough. Thanks a lot, Spencer. There you have it, folks. Old school Dan McCaddy, the eight-time Fourth of Speedway track champion post-race of Flam.